Glad to have all of you here. I think this mic might be just a little too far up. Yeah, but you can take that down just a little bit. From the great side, you know, it kind of gave me a little too high. So it really matters that we praise God and thank Him and worship Him in spite of what our circumstances might be. If you read through the Psalms, you'll see that, uh, there, of course, there was more than one author, David, but, but in the Psalms, you see a lot of times where David was going through some crazy stuff, but he was still worshiping God, and it was a key that he understood. And you see that Paul talks about praising God and rejoicing the Lord always, and in all things rejoicing and giving thanks and, and worshiping God continually. And this guy, who said that, you know, Paul, he talks about it in Ephesians, he talks about it in Thessalonians, he talks about it in a number of different places. Philippians, rejoice the Lord always, and I say rejoice. He was not just talking from a position of life being pretty good. You know, he went to more stuff than anybody in this room has been through. People who left the dead, in prison, and preaching the gospel, and all kinds of stuff, right? He went through shipwreck and bit by a poisonous snake, and on and on and on we can go. And this is the guy who's telling us to worship and rejoice in the Lord continually. And there's a, there's a thing there that if we can get a hold of it, that it's not about how we feel, it's not about what our circumstances are. He's worthy. He's worthy of our worship and our praise. No matter what our circumstances are, no matter what we're dealing with, he's worthy. And there is a blessing there's a blessing for you in it. It pleases him, but it blesses you too. And if you will thank him, even in the middle of whatever, and worship him anyway, in spite of how you feel or what is going on, you will find out that it blesses you right on back. And it's an encouragement to you, and it's an encouragement to others, and it's a statement about the reality of God. Because you tap into his power to even do that. When you just make up your mind to worship him and thank him anyway, he will empower you and bless you in that. And if people see that that's who you are, even when your circumstances are crazy, it says something to them. It says that there's a reality to this. It's not just a philosophy. Yeah, it's okay. There's a reality to it. There's power in that being united to him. And when you worship him, your spirit opens up and you receive from him as well as you give it to him what he is due, because he is worthy. He is our creator, and you have your redemption. I don't care what else happens to you, you have your redemption. That's enough to worship him to thank him for. So it really matters that we continue to worship and honor God with our mouths and with our lives, regardless of what's going on. Amen? Amen. 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 